in this special episode of Neocache Radio, I am talking with Jordan Crawford from Purse.io, where you can save at least 5% on your Amazon purchases. I'm speaking with Jordan Crawford, the Director of Growth at Purse.io. Jordan, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So we've got uh, we've got something to share with the listeners, but first, let's get to know you and Purse. Uh, Jordan, how did you discover crypto? Actually, through Purse, surprisingly. So um, I had worked with products that dealt with Amazon pieces, and I got to know Andrew, the CEO of Purse, and we just started talking, and he's like, you should really check out this crypto stuff, and... I was like, well, okay, I'm sort of doing the Amazon piece. And I just got really into it, especially because just Purse's story is is kind of fantastic. And being able to save 5 to 33% on Amazon, it's like, how does that work? And cryptocurrency is sort of the engine that powers all that. So that's how I got into it. Excellent. Well, then let's let's get right into Purse itself and talk about Purse. What what is Purse, and what is this uh, the story you talk about that makes it so interesting? Yeah. So Purse is a way to save five to thirty three percent on anything on Amazon. Everything from you know drones to diapers. You can actually live most of your life on Amazon, especially when you consider gift cards. So Uber, Lyft, a bunch of other Safeway, Whole Foods. You can save so much money when you spend with Bitcoin. And basically, Purse's story ha- is that we really want to make crypto useful. And we think it's important to be able to spend cryptocurrency, right? Not just hodl it away or use it as an investment tool. That's kind of what a currency is. You need to be able to spend it. Right. So no, no one else in the space that, you know, that I had heard of at the time uh, was was doing that, and I thought, wow, this is this is really important for for the crypto industry to have a company that is really allowing people to use this as a currency and to experience it too, instead of just buying it on exchange and waiting and then sort of <laughs> checking the price every right. twenty minutes. Exactly. How boring is that? <laughs> yes. I mean, it's fun to see it go up. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> Using that and actually getting something tangible for it is really how you get the reward out of that value increase, that that rise in price, you know, taking chips off the table, so to speak. Yeah, it's funny because I recently went to the Amazon and the actual, not, not the virtual Amazon, the actual Amazon, and I bought a camera and a lens to, you know, take with me. And so I saved two to five hundred dollars on the combination of both the lens and the camera and i didn't really think about the bitcoin price you know we get paid in cryptocurrency and so i I definitely have that instinct to you know to be checking my uh account balance often but it turns out that when you just shop on purse you sort of let go of that and the savings really add up i mean i've been shopping on purse for over six months now and I've saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars, uh, even independent of the Bitcoin price. If you go to the Purse website, purse.io, um, there, the, your first, the first thing you're going to see is the, the shop earn sell right at the top there. And so like, it, it tells me, you know, obviously there's more than one thing going on here with, uh, with Purse. So you mentioned the shopping, you mentioned Amazon. Let's talk about the earn and sell uh, portions of this as well and just sort of cover the whole gambit. What's, what, is, what does this mean by earn? How's, how does one earn? Great. It's a good question. So Purse is actually a two-sided marketplace, shoppers and earners. And shoppers are folks that want discounts on Amazon and earners are folks that may have an Amazon balance or they just want Bitcoin and they're willing to transact in goods for you, the shopper, to get your Bitcoin. So how it works is you go as a shopper on Purse. If you buy at 5%, we fulfill the order instantly and you're not actually matched with an earner. If you want a higher than 5% discount, let's say you're going for a 20% discount, then you're matched with an earner who's willing to take a discount on the USD price and receive that in in Bitcoin and shop on your behalf. It it uses the wish list function on Amazon. I don't know if you're familiar with that. So you can have people buy on your behalf and Purse is actually the moderator in the middle. So we hold your funds in escrow until the item is received by you, shipping confirmation, the earners required to upload the Amazon order ID. So we're in the middle of that transaction to to make sure everything goes smoothly, and we've got a ten thousand dollar guarantee if, um, for whatever reason, something goes goes strange with a um, 
with the transaction. Right off the bat, you're saying that at a minimum, you're getting a 5% discount. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. So if you want the item right away, let's say you, you want it shipped as fast as possible, you can buy everything on Amazon for 5%. We'll fulfill those orders all day long for you and we fulfill them right away. If you do more than 5%, basically the speed at which your order arrives is relative to the discount. So 33% is our max amount and those orders don't get picked up very frequently, but 20% gets picked up like pretty frequently. So you'll get that in anywhere between a couple days to sometimes a couple weeks. So the average discount this month is 18% on the marketplace. Wow. Okay, so that's basically someone who wants something from Amazon doesn't, you know, they can they can put an or- a wish list together and then ask for a discount, and then someone else will go ahead and with their own uh, cards and then buy that order, complete that order, and then basically they get the Bitcoin. The person who completes the order gets the Bitcoin, and the person who wanted the, the items gets the items delivered to them. Yeah, exactly. And so just to be clear about the wish list piece, you don't have to do any of the wish list creation. Purse takes care of all that for you. It's just the type of functionality that's used to make sure that your information is secured, et cetera. Um, but indeed, that is exactly how the uh, how the marketplace works. And we hold your Bitcoin in escrow the minute the transaction takes place. So if you put a order on the books for a camera, 20% off, when an earner picks up that order, that's when we peg the USD to BTC price. And we hold that amount in escrow until that item is delivered. And when you confirm delivery, then that Bitcoin is released out of escrow to the earner. And then you have uh, uh, your own sort of a marketplace that people can put up their own items used and uh, new. Yeah, 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 that's right. So we do have a merchants platform for people that are selling items. So Previously, Ledger had their items listed on on Purse and folks that just want to transact in Bitcoin. So we've had some mining rigs and, uh, you know, a lot of like really good Bitcoin shirts. Uh, so just a variety of, of merchants can place their items on Purse to get access to our 200,000 plus user base who want to transact in Bitcoin. Built in all of this, there's a wallet. And uh, so this is a wallet where people can uh, hold their Bitcoin to complete these transactions. Is that right? Yeah. And actually, some people prefer our wallet to other solutions. So they'll actually just hold their Bitcoin in purse. So we're a full wallet solution. We have an integration with Coinbase. So you can transfer stuff stuff off to Coinbase. We actually subsidize some of the fees to getting your Bitcoin out to make that those transactions a little bit more palatable to our users. And just like a regular wallet, you can you know, send money in, send money out. Now, is this a custodial wallet? Do you have control over it? Is this something that the user would have control over? So we have control over it. And actually we use an open source project that we support and totally fund here at Purse, bcoin.io. And April 6th to the 9th, we're having a hackathon uh, for Bcoin. So we really want, are committed to the open source to sort of the idea of open source. And um, we show that commitment in terms of supporting projects like Bitcoin, which I think Copay actually uses Bitcoin and a, a bunch of other wallets will use the, the software. So we're really a big believer in, in open in open source. All right. And then, uh, okay. So as, as someone goes through and completes these orders for uh, the people who want the Amazon products at a higher discount, uh, they gain levels as, as an earner. Um, and then they can complete larger orders and that sort of thing. Is this sort of how you do your, uh, your sort of due diligence of making sure that people are trustworthy or? Yeah, you did your research. Good job. <laughs> so that's exactly how it works. Uh, so we have different levels for both shoppers and earners to make sure that people are acting reasonably on our marketplace. And as earners earn more and you know, pick up orders and we look at like cancellation rates and a bunch of other things to make sure that the shopper is having a really good experience. And also we allow both parties to rate each other. So, you know, earners as an earner, you want to make sure that the shopper is confirming delivery on time and not holding on to, to that Bitcoin. So basically we have an understanding of the quality of the shopper and the earner. And as earners level up their, they can complete higher orders. And as after your first purchase on purse is actually limited to 15%. And part of that is so that you can have a really quick checkout experience. 
So we're definitely thinking very hard about how we can improve the connection between earners and shoppers and the quality of both earners and shoppers on our marketplace. Okay. And then finally, uh, the shopper, there is no fee paid by the shopper if they choose the the 5%. Is that right? That's correct. Yep. And then once they choose a discount above 5%, there's a fee that is calculated into that, uh, the total cost of that transaction. Is that right? Yeah, basically, Purse gets a slightly better discount than you select. So if you select 20%, we may actually buy that item from the earner at 21% uh, and and take that difference as a fee for using Purse. Wow. So that's that's basically, in a nutshell, uh, someone can go to Purse and shop on Amazon and, and get what they want and pay at least 5% less. That's That's it. Yep. All right. Well, and, and part of the, you know, part of the reason, of course, not only talking about purse and how to make Bitcoin useful, but uh, so we are trying something new with Neocash, Neocash Media, Neocash Radio, in that we have an affiliate link through purse to uh, offer our listeners and viewers an, uh, another way to support us and, and help us out without actually donating directly to us. Uh, if they want to go to purse.io uh, and use our reference uh, code, then they can go and, sh- and shop and we will get a, a slight piece of the pie, if you will. And uh, that will help the show continue to, to grow and uh, reach more audiences and, and cover more topics. So we're happy to share that. And thanks to you, Jordan, for helping us get that all set up. Actually, I should say it's even better than that. If the users go and fill in their promo code after they complete their first transaction, we'll give you 10 bucks. So wow. you, you shouldn't just do it to support the show, which uh, which you definitely should <laughs> should support the show. But also it's a benefit to you as well um, on Purse for making that first transaction and uh, for listening here. Cool. So you, just to be clear that the person who signs up will get $10. Yep. After their first transaction. So they'll make a transaction and then we'll automatically add 10 bucks into their Purse wallet. Wow, that's that sounds amazing. So um, we'll have that uh, that link, and it's just the, the, our code is NEO, but we're going to have a link in our, our description and in the video and whatnot, and also at our blog neocashradio.com, and eventually at our new website neocashmedia.com. But uh, you know, patience. I have so many things going on, <laughs> uh, and including this interview with you, Jordan. So thank you so much for, for joining with me, and and uh, we'll look forward to seeing what happens here and. Uh, perhaps talk to you again about purse and what what you guys are playing next. Is there anything on the horizon that you're you're looking forward to? Yeah, so we're actively investigating other uh, cryptocurrencies, and yeah, don't have anything to share at the moment there. But if any of you have any questions as you use purse, uh, feedback for your experience, I'm Jordan J O R D A N at purse.io. So please send me a note. I'm happy to. Um, to just help get you on board or show you some of my transactions so you can sort of see how it works or explain it to you. Um, I, especially, you know, being relatively new to Bitcoin, I know that, you know, thinking about, okay, well, I'm shopping with this thing, I'm transacting with it, there's a wallet involved that sometimes it can be difficult to get going. So I'm happy to help out. Thank you for listening to this special episode of Neocash Radio. Please check out our website at neocashradio.com. Like and share this video or podcast. 